two North Texas Amber Alerts in one week's time tonight. A mother still waiting for answers, weighing in on the system named after her daughter. I'm hoping and praying that the child will go back home with mom and dad and her mom wouldn't have to go through what I went through. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken Molestina in for Doug Dunbar tonight. Donna Williams' daughter, Amber Hagerman, was kidnapped and murdered in 1996. Out of that came the Amber Alert. But even after concerns with two recent North Texas Amber Alerts, Williams says there's no need for major changes. She spoke only to our Andrea Lucia, who joins us live now from Dallas Police Headquarters tonight. Andrea? Amber Hagerman's mother says the Amber Alert is not broken. She is very quick to defend it. But that doesn't mean it's working perfectly. I still have a hole in my heart for her, and, and I wish I could he hear her voice just one more time. Every time Donna Williams sees an Amber Alert, it's bittersweet. She prays for the happy ending her own family will never see. The bitter part, you know, what if there was the Amber Alert, you know, when my daughter was missing? It's her daughter, Amber Hagerman, the alert is named after. Her kidnapping and murder in 1996 led to its creation. I'm super, super, super proud of the Amber Alert. But when William saw an alert on her phone Sunday night for four year old Furman Fuentes, I thought, well, there's got to be something wrong with this. It had no information on the missing child Dallas police were looking for. No name, no age, no description. Dallas police say the Texas Department of Public Safety crafted the alert. We contacted DPS and they quickly added the information on their Facebook page as well as other social media sites, read a police statement. A week earlier, Fort Worth police also stumbled in issuing an Amber Alert, in part because the system the department revealed depended on a fax machine officers couldn't get to work. I'm just terrified it'll go away. What troubles Williams most are those she says intentionally misused the alert. This weekend's missing child, it turned out, was never missing at all. Police say his father now faces charges for making a false report, likely in an effort to get officers to search for his stolen car. I think it's just really, really horrible because you're misusing something that's a great tool for our missing children out here in the world. Amber's own murder case remains unsolved. There has never been an arrest. If she had lived, she would be 32 years old now. Her mother says the one thing that brings her death meaning is the Amber Alert and the many families it has successfully reunited. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.